The best player in the world, Klaus of the Queen Walkers, is virtually unstoppable. But could my subscribers defend in order to win themselves $100? Let's find out. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Juno Sloth. I put out a Twitter post asking for you to submit bases. There was so many entries and I have selected 5 players, copied their layouts and now we are ready to challenge Klaus. If he 3 stars he wins $100 but if the base defends, the player who submitted it will win the $100. Klaus is in. This base was submitted by Lars, who just enjoys building bases in his spare time. I think that's really cool. Now, the troop composition is all over the place, and this is what I love about Klaus. Using the golem to enter in towards this eagle compartment has the archer queen behind that. Actually, two golems now deployed, and he's always so surgical with his approaches. Golems tank for a long time. You can see the earthquake and lightning takes down the multi-target inferno. Barbarian king actually walks here up towards that top area, and that is intended with the funneling he made. So the king can basically take out that entire area, but he has at the clan castle troops or some of them headhunters run across to the king is the king going to get that scatter he has to freeze it but the headhunter is not in the freeze oh no can the king get it he does okay he could at least recover with the other items over there but you can see there's a tesla farm as well he would have liked the king to secure that entire area nevertheless log launcher moving through with the ability he's still got a little mini lalo he's opened up access to the town hall you can see the ice golems. He's got three of them and a one down by the queen. Four ice golems moving up towards that top area. Balloons on that archer tower to force the royal champion in. Meanwhile, the attacking queen, who has no healers, is still going. Freezes the king and the town hall. I think that was the ice golem, actually. Still has an invisibility, two invisibilities, and a freeze. Look at the Lalo to the right. How does he concentrate on so many things at once? Freezes the town hall, missed the single, that could be costly, but I think he's still got enough with a pecker on the outside of the base. One minute remaining, two invisibilities, a freeze. Are you kidding me? This is why he is the best player in the world, in my opinion. He is next level. We all know this. We love his creativity. He did promise that he would keep things super creative, win or lose, in this, which I admire. I think that is so cool. Really sportsmanlike, swagging the invisibility spells questionably for $100 to Klaus. Just so you know, I am leaving the clan in between attacks so that even if the next subscriber requested the same clan castle troops klaus would not know what was in there here we are this base was submitted by fitron i believe it must be his legend league base you can see these sweepers trying to maybe defend e dragons and klaus is sending the battle blimp into the sweeper decides to freeze it now i did donate him super wizard so i know he's doing the blizzard decides to turn them invisible outside of the eagle but is he going to get it he does they will get the multi as well alongside the bomb tower that is huge by placing them inside that compartment i guess that's one thing to mention that if you are trying to defend e-drags or maybe a blizzard by having your sweepers pointing in one direction remember if you freeze them you could get huge value as you see here now klaus can take the lava hound out over by this side of the base using the king and there's a lot of buildings on the outside so i think he's going to let the king just walk around that area is he diving the queen into the town hall here royal champion next to the king she should actually be able to get some pretty good value down the bottom wall break opens up access to the town hall now where is he using 16 rocket balloons also has Four bat spells. Town Hall is down. Royal Champion actually moves up to this direction with the Queen. I'm not sure he wanted that. Oh, she moves back. Good 
royal champion. Good for you. Decides to use an invisibility for the queen. Will she get the single? She doesn't. Oh my goodness. That was so unfortunate. That could have been huge. Now he turns the barbarian king invisible with the royal champion. Rocket balloons now moving in from this right hand side. RC is down. Uses the grand warden ability on the rocket balloons. There are the bats on the scatter shot and just uses rocket balloons for the wizard tower. Often we would see an ice golem on the outside in order to tank, but Klaus decides to just use the rocket balloons. Oh, the red air bomb wiped the bats. How unfortunate. Does he have enough? Three rocket balloons. Now two. He's got a lot of minions cleaning up. I think he can get it as the rocket balloons get onto the single. It will go down and there you go. What a... Oh my gosh, it's not finished. I don't think I've jinxed him. Shoot. Surely not. Look at all of these troops. They must be able to get it. What a roller coaster of a ride. Oh my gosh, there's giant bombs. A tornado trap. This is incredible. But with 15 seconds, it is the three stars and another $100 for Klaus. This base was submitted by Shasso. He is a member of the Dark Unicorns and actually streams base builds. I also used to lurk on his streams. So I'm really interested to see if he defends. Klaus is using the Lava Loon Bats, or it is the Ice Hound Bats, I guess, because it is the Ice Hound he is using, setting up the funnel to the 12 o'clock area with the Queen up to the north charging in towards the eagle artillery now the clan castle troops are rocket balloons and super minions klaus has been able to deal with that pretty good but he's forced to use a rage spell not the end of the world because i think he probably expected to use a rage on the clan castle troops but look across to the west we also have a wall break king and ice golem but a wall break up to this top area as well that must be to allow the queen back out of the base but let's focus here oh the headhunter got shredded by the giant bomb barbarian king does get through the enemy heroes though let's take a quick look up at the queen another super war break has allowed her in towards the multi royal champion charging through to the middle uses the invisibility on the queen royal champion ability goes off can he get that scatter shot? I think that's what he's after. And it looks like he should. Down it goes. Queen ability is used. Rage was on time, but I think just concentrating on a few different things slipped him up. With the ice golem and the warden ability for the battle blimp. He's wanting to take the town hall early. Now what is in there? Probably sneaky goblins, I presume. Town Hall has not gone down. Oh, the Sneaky Goblins hit a giant bomb. That was almost critical damage by Shasu. Queen goes down, but the bats are circling the bottom of the base whilst the Royal Champion is there. Picks off the Grand Warden. Are the bats going to have enough? They might not. Oh, they get over to the single. I don't think they're going to get it, but there's three balloons. He's trying to save that for cleanup, and he's got to send them into the Tesla. Two balloons come across. Look at all of the skellies and the red air bombs. Is it a defense? Will Shasu defend here as the balloons come through the single? Is going to survive, I believe. 35 seconds. He could still get it. The single survives. Minions on the outside. Is there a chance? I don't think so. The skellies will get the minions. This minion is doomed. I think it is a defense. It was a super creative attack. Klaus did indeed try something risky with the bats, but we have a defense. It is only just a defense. The 98% maybe if this elixir storage goes down, but it is $100 to Shasso. Come on, Klaus. Shake it off, buddy. Shake it off. This base is submitted by Park of Tompanai Empire builds bases for the team that have already qualified into 
the World Championships. Starts down to the Eagle compartment with his Battle Blimp. Flying in to... Is he going to get the single? Uses the Rage spell. Will probably get that single, but there are skellies there. Yetis move up, and yes, does indeed get that single. Actually gets the Builder Hut as well, and the Yeti goes to the air defense. Wow, that was pretty good value. Now he starts his Queen down to this area as well. So he's looking to walk the Queen up and to the right. He's already got pathing there, and he has a Golem. This is what I love. This is what I love, Klaus. Keeping the creative attacks with two Golems. He's actually got two Ice Golems. A third Golem with Super Archers. I love it. When was the last time you've seen Super Archers at Town Hall 14? They are hitting the scatter shot. No way. Do they target it again? Oh, they've gone through the Tesla, but he got pretty good value there. Oh, they switched to it. Oh, it went down. I think they were about to hit the scatter shot. Getting a bit too excited on that one area, but we've got headhunters over towards the king. Yak actually busts into that compartment. Look at the archers again. They are well protected behind the golem. I might need to try this myself. Meanwhile, the archer queen in the middle has plenty of ice golems and jumps towards the other multi. Oh, that bomb really did work onto all of the barbarians, but he'll be able to surround that town hall pretty quickly, particularly with the super archers helping to pick that off. Now, he's got a couple of troops here and there. Four skelly spells. Turns the queen invisible. And now brings in the royal champion. Okay, so the skellies come down to try and help distract, but he's got a two-pronged approach here with the heroes. Queen in the middle. RC down the bottom. Enemy king and queen still alive. This is difficult. Look at the skellies. Continues to bring them in in front of the queen, who is continually distracted trying to pick off that archer tower with the hog riders didn't work due to the scatter shot but he's doing okay here surrounding the base 40 seconds keep your eye on that time because he's having to be super surgical here is it a defense or oh, can he get it oh the royal champion still has the ability he's holding on to it for as long as possible with the expo down the ability goes off and there we go 20 seconds there's no buildings left at the other side he sends the wizard for cleanup and it is close it is a fine line here but it is another three star 100 dollars that's 300 now for klaus and now we have bob of alternate attacks the world champions bob the builder can he defend? I know where the traps are because obviously I copied the base and I'm interested to see if Klaus attacks into that area and exactly what happens. Be ready for it. Over to this right hand side with the Archer Queen down to the six o'clock area. Nice little funnel getting set up and he's doing the Queen charge into rocket balloons. Wow, oh my gosh. Hits a seeking air mine out of the gates. I don't think he expected one on the outside of the base there. Clearly would have used a Coco Loon or I guess a rocket balloon if he thought there would be one. Uses the headhunters in order to help take down the king. Over to this side though, the archer queen stays alive. Oh my word, I believe he wanted his barbarian king to get that. Freezes for the royal champion pings through this area. Royal Champion will get that, but can she get the single? He's got an invisibility. Not going to use it. Single survives. He needs the invisibility for the queen. That is why. Because the multi was burning his healers. Gets through that. Protects the healers. He could maybe send a rocket balloon onto the single. So that's really not too bad. Here comes the attack from the right. With the stone slammer. In order to charge through. A couple of seeking air mines out of the gates. Rocket balloon struggling. Oh my goodness. Look at all of the traps. There's the tornado. Does he use the Grand Warden ability? He does. He's had to use it. Still has eight rocket balloons and the queen goes down. Oh my goodness. What is going to happen now? He's got the rocket loons. Can he get to the town hall? Can he get the two star? Rocket balloons come across. Oh, the red air bombs are there. It was trapped. The Grand Warden and the owl can clutch the town hall. 
can't just about get the two star. Sends the rocket balloons in to try and clean up. You know what? It's not too far away. It is not too far away. The air defense being the only building that can pick off these troops pretty quickly. Considering he ran into the bait the way he did, it is super close. Look at this headhunter with the healers. Grand Warden actually takes the expo. Owl chaining through the single. Look at the headhunter. Oh my goodness. This was so close. Klaus, how did you recover to this type of attack? 94% with bait like that is incredible but that's 100 dollars to bob the builder and there you have it thank you everyone that submitted bases gg to those that defended if you want to see when i challenged klaus to the judo sloth challenge slightly different rules i have it linked on your screen alongside the subscribe button you guys take care and i will see you in the next video